Hey everybody! Today, Rado runs through Meteor, which is a real-time cooperative game all about brave scientists from all over the world trying to save Earth from impending peril. For you see, there are meteors that are coming right for us, and we only have five minutes, a scant five minutes, to save the planet. So, that's what we're going to be trying to do today, and when I say we, I mean me and my wife, Jen. Jen will be joining us today because this is not really a game I could run through by myself because of the real-time nature. And uh, in fact, this game goes so fast and so furious, I can't even be holding the camera in my hand to play. So we're having to go only static cam today. Sorry, uh, dynamic cam fans, but we're ready to go. Now we're just gonna, for, we're gonna do, this game is so fast. It is over in less than five minutes. Although it can get a little bit longer, and it'll certainly be a little bit longer here because I'll be explaining stuff as we go. But, for starters, everybody gets a hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In a two-player game, a hand of seven cards. And there's a little, little cheat sheet here. Two-player game, seven cards, and five meteors are heading towards Earth. So here is the pile of meteor cards, and we're going to have five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So. We know that there are four small meteors, because they are the ones that say one to three. This meteor, we don't know exactly what it is, but we know it has a target number of one, two, or three. So each of these has a value one, two, or three. This one, we do know, you can see it's a two-sided card. This is a six. Uh, let's see, and there's also in here, there are occasionally, there's large meteors that have values of three to five. Although we didn't get any large meteors this time, we just got a bunch of small meteors, but this kind of extra large meteor. And, and this is our timer. We start out with five rounds and then four, three, two, one. And if we haven't destroyed all these meteors by the time the countdown is over, which is tracked by all of these little sand timers over here, then the world blows up. So we each have our starting hand of resources. And these cards, there are three types of resource cards. There are actual components like this thing here, which I'm not, I'm not supposed to, Jen is not supposed to be peeking. I think I just saw her peeking. She is not supposed to know what's in my hand, but we've got resources. Um, we've got rockets. So I've got a rocket that I could potentially build if I've got the correct resources for it. And occasionally we have technologies that could be built if you've got, and so apparently I'm trying not to look at Jen's cards, um, but we both happen to have a technology and a rocket in our starting hand, which is an interesting thing. So we are gonna be playing these cards in real time, trying to build the rockets and technology by using these resources, our plutonium and our chemicals and our whatever, whatever all these resources resources are, there's basically four of them. There's the, the red, green, yellow, and blue. So we're trying to play these to either launch rockets to try to destroy these meteors or to build technologies. Now, <clears throat> to make this a more reasonable video for you guys to watch, we are starting with one technology already built. Normally this would be somewhere, this communication satellite would be somewhere in this deck of cards. Maybe we'll find it, maybe we won't, but if we don't have the communication satellite, the the uh, subspace interference from the meteors wipes out all communication on the planet. So, without a communication satellites in play, players can't talk to each other. Even though we only have five minutes to play, we can't strategize. We just have to kind of go and point at stuff, trying to get the attention of the other player and hoping they understand what we're trying to you know, mutter and groan about, but we can't actually speak. Once this is built, then you can speak. We're just going to start with this already pre-built. And in fact, the rules suggest the first few times you play, start with this thing pre-built so that players can talk right from the get-go. As you might imagine, it makes it significantly more tricky without being able to talk. So we will be able to talk because we've already got a satellite commu uh, communication satellite built, and we're trying to build these things. Now, <clears throat> what often is the case is, I don't have enough resources to build the rockets and technologies I have. But what I can do is, I can put them into play in my launch area. This is my launch pad right here. This is Jen's launch pad. This is the neutral one. In a two-player game, there are three launch pads, kind of like a three-player game. So I can build stuff over here, Jen can build stuff over there, and either Jen or I could build stuff on this launch pad. And now the thing is, 
Once I start building something on my launch pad, Jen can, if she pays attention to what I'm doing, she can see what I'm building and she can help me out by using her resources on my project. And so that's where the silent communication comes in because you're always like, oh, I'm going to try and build this and I'm hoping that if I start building it, Jen can finish. So we are either trying to you know, build rockets, destroy things, technologies that give us more powers um, you know, as we race against the time, or we are trying to do retrofit projects. And what these are, these are trying to play four of a kind of either a given rocket type, like four ones, four threes, four five, level five rockets, or for um, plutonium, or for neutronium, or for other onium, whatever they might be. Or alternatively, instead of four of a kind, four completely different things. Um, you know, one of each of the resources, or four completely different value rockets. If we can play those as a project, that means we discard those four cards and get to draw five cards split amongst the players, um, you know, split amongst all the players. So you're giving up four to get five, and that's a really important thing because we don't have enough cards in our starting hand to take out all these meteors. Now, while we're trying to do all that, time is ticking down. Each The game comes with five sand timers. Each one is one minute long. And when this thing empties, we go from five minutes remaining to four minutes and to three minutes and two minutes. But, so that's bad as we're running out of time, but on the flip side, there's one good thing. Every time a minute has passed and we run out of time, we get to draw two more cards. So that's the other way we get cards into our hand. So we go for retrofits to get cards in our hand, or we get cards every once in a while as time runs out. And that's the big picture. I think that's enough to get going. Do you have anything to add, Honey Pie, or are you ready to save the Earth? I'm ready to save the Earth. <clears throat> okay. Now, we can't show each other what's in our hands, but we can talk about it freely once we get going. And um, one other thing, since these are, you know, sand timers, we can always pause if ever we need to, to basically um, talk about, hey, what does this card mean? I don't understand. And I might pause every once in a while to kind of explain what we're doing as we go. Because I've only told you the basics, but we're ready to go and... Three, two, one. Okay, and the time's up. Jen's already starting to build a power plant, which I see she needs um, yellow and green. Do you have any greens? Because I've got a green. I have no. Experience. All right. Well, I'll I'll supply a green towards the resource plant that she's building in the neutral station. Great. And in the meantime, uh, do you have any reds? Yes. All right. I am going to put down three reds, and I hope Jen adds a fourth. This is a retrofit. We just gave up four cards to draw five. Jen finished it, so she drew three. I drew two, and hopefully that helps us out, give us some more stuff. Um, hopefully somebody drew a yellow so we can finish this resource plant. But um, Jen, so nobody drew any yellows, so that's unfortunate. Jen, meanwhile, is starting to build a rocket, and she's going to launch it. Now, hold on a second. I'm going to pause for a second and explain this. So. We're still trying to get this built. As you can see, we, I provided the green, but we still need a yellow. Once this is built, every time a, t a timer moves forward, at the end of a round, when the timer moves forward, normally we get to draw two. Once this is built, we get to draw three. So this is a big thing if we can get this built. In the meantime, though, Jen has built a level one rocket. This rocket does one point of damage. It needed a red, Jen built it. Now, <clears throat> once the time starts again, just see, I think it has to go like that, yeah. Once time starts again, Jen is going to have to pick one of these five meteors to shoot at. No point in shooting at the Sixer because obviously it won't destroy it. Um, but it has the potential to destroy any of these because, remember, this could be a one, two, or a three. If this is a three, Jen needs a level three rocket or a total combined power of three to destroy it. But, as a, but if it's a one, she'll destroy it. But even if she fails to destroy one of these, we'll at least get to flip it, because you, you flip these, and uh, we'll get to find out what it is so we can make a more targeted strike later. So, Jen's about to launch, and are you ready to continue, Honey Pie? I'm ready. All right, so we're continuing. Okay. And so she's launching, and uh, that's when it's a discard one. pile, and she oh. has flipped this one. Okay, so amazingly, amazingly, well, things just got interesting. <laughs> this was a level one meteor, which Jen destroyed with her level one rocket. So that's great. Hey, but this has a special effect. When this meteor gets destroyed, one oh, of our technologies no. gets destroyed. So Jen just destroyed our communication satellite. And so remember how I was talking about how, hey, we're going to play with the communication satellite so we can explain what's happening. Now Jen and I cannot talk. You know, we are close to saving the Earth, but that's a big problem. So, before I start the timer again, I will explain how it works under normal circumstances. <laughs> we cannot say anything to each other. Jen, I have to make a conscious effort not to look at Jen's cards because she keeps holding them to... 
I think she's trying to show them to you, dear viewers, but you can't even see them. But she's definitely showing them to me. But anyway, so we can't talk. The, we are only allowed to say three things. Launch, which is when, you know, to let somebody know that, hey, we're launching something. And uh, so everybody can see what happens. Because, you know, I might be so wrapped up in my own stuff, I might not notice. So we can say launch. We can say um, time out or pause or freeze or something like that, which means there's a request to freeze the game because maybe somebody's got a card with a special power and they don't know what it is, so they want to look it up in the rules. So you can pause for rules questions by saying time out or you can say pass. Because what's going to happen? You know, before the minute is up, we might get to a spot where there's nothing we can do with the cards we have in hand. So you can always say pass. And if everybody says pass, then we don't wait until the end of the minute. We just go on ahead and dump this and we move on to the next round, which means we immediately get to draw some more cards. So, well done, Honey Pie. You've destroyed a thing, but you've destroyed our only means of communication. Um, and now we are ready to continue. Are you ready to continue, Honey Pie? Should we, can we communicate with uh, <clears throat> static Morse code or something? Um, we're going to play for realsy reels. <laughs> So here we go. Okay. Continuing. All right. Okay. Um, hmm. All right. Well, and I see Jen has done something. Jen, uh, oh, all right. I better stop and explain what Jen is doing here. I can see Jen has put down two rockets. Now, because she's put down two, this no longer counts as a rocket project. If she had just put down one rocket, um, I might take that to mean, oh, she is hoping that I've got some yellows that, um, that I could play to launch her rocket. But because she's put down two, this is no longer a rocket project. This is the beginning of a retrofit. And what Jen is hoping is that, one, I will notice this, and I did, and that, two, I will have a one or a two or a five, because if we can get basically a straight of rockets, you know, four rockets with different values, we could do another retrofit. Now, Jen can't talk about that. The only thing she could do is, if she thought I didn't notice, she could say, mm -hmm, ah, ah, so that she could draw my attention to it, you know, kind of saying that she wants help. But anyway, so that's that, and now we are going to continue. And I think we're almost out of this first minute. So, continuing on, hmm, and I'm like, well, that's very interesting. And I'm going to put this and this here, and, uh, right. And, and then, okay, and... We've just run out of time, so the time goes on. Everybody draws two cards. We start another timer, and we continue. And again, we cannot speak. And um, I will put a yellow here. And so this resource plant has been built. So now we get to draw three cards at the end of a round. And um, Jen hasn't helped me with this, and she's still hoping I'll help her with that. And she notices I am not helping her with that, which she can take for what, uh, whatever it might mean. Um, and let's see here. Whew, wow. I, I, it, right, and so Jen's hoping maybe I could help her with that, and I cannot. Wow. Um, or else I would. Because these are my cards here. And you often run into this situation. We've got yes. lots of time in the world, but Jen's going to pass. I'm going to pass two. We're both passing. We're down to three, but we get to draw three cards now because of the functioning resource plant. And hopefully, we got some stuff to finish all of this business. Jen is launching. Launching. All right, so she has a level three rocket. Hopefully, it gets something good. Oh. And oh, so all right, I'm gonna pause this again. Oops, I didn't start the timer. All right, so the timer's been going, um, but now I'm gonna pause because okay, so Jen shot at this rocket, but it was with a rocket that's charged with green. This asteroid, it was a three, so Jen could have destroyed it. But the problem is, Jen needed a rocket powered with yellow. So we've discovered that, but um, we we still got a bit of a problem. We 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 were. Uh, halfway through the game, we got two we don't know about. We got this big one that we have to work together. Jen's still hoping I can finish to help her with this retrofit so we can draw some more cards, but I can't. And um, anyway, um, Jen's starting to play even though we're still paused. <laughs> this woman, I tell you. Okay. All right. So, ready to continue, Honey Pie? All right. Um, yes. So, boom. And Jen's starting another project. I'm going to finish this project over here. Launch. Uh, I'm launching. Oh, and wait a minute. So we could both, all right, I'm going to pause again. So many things to describe. Now, this is an interesting thing. We both happen to be launching at the same time. These could be two separate strikes. You know, if Jen has this level four with the blue, I've got this level three with the stuff I've got. These could be, you know, Jen could shoot at one, I could shoot at another, or we could combine our fire and both shoot at this six. That's the chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> this evil chocolate chip cookie. Because the highest value rocket in the game is a five. Nobody can destroy this by themselves. It needs multiple rockets to be destroyed. 
But unfortunately, because Jen shot down the communication satellite with her earlier shot, we can't discuss strategy. We have to just kind of grunt and moan and, <laughs> and do whatever we can do. Um, but anyway, so we're now going to continue. And I, we both said launch at the same time, and we both have to take our rocket and just point at what we're doing. I'm just going to point at this. So we both shot at different things. Okay. And I've destroyed this, and Jen has revealed a two. And, all right, and now, okay, I have to pause that. Jen, you, you shot it with a four, correct? Yep. Where's your rocket? Jen shot at this um, a one, or this was, this was a, she knew this was a one, a two, or a three, right? She shot at it with a four, knowing full well that this was going to be overpowered. The highest this could have been was a three. As it was, it was a two. Jen shot it with a four. Whenever you overkill, this is called overkill, whenever you overkill a asteroid, hit it with a bigger rocket than is necessary, you take the asteroid out, hooray! But the explosion is so great that it causes all the other asteroids to zip that much closer to the Earth. So because Jen just did an overkill, we just completely ran out of time. And now we're down to only two. But that means we do get to draw three cards. So hopefully, um, now we've got a little bit more time. We've got a lot of cards between the two of us. And let's see, can I help Jen with that retrofit? Oh my god, I still cannot help her with that retrofit. Not that I should tell her that, but let's see, what do we got here? Mm, I could get this thing built. I don't think... Um, oh, maybe... Yeah, okay. I am going to start working on a rocket plant, and I'm going to finish it. And I, I'm not supposed to be saying all this, but I just went ahead and did it. Now, what this does is, at any time, anybody... And Jen, meanwhile, has started another project, and um, which she's going to finish, but we're paused for a second. Whenever anybody... If anybody wants to, they can discard any two cards from their hand, now that this is built, and draw any rocket, because you know, it's a rocket plant, any rocket from the discard pile can be pulled back out. So if we have a specific rocket that we need, we can just get it out and launch it. So this might save our bacon too. But anyway, so I just built that. Jen, meanwhile, she started another project. She's still hoping to finish this retrofit. Now Jen can wipe this. Anytime she wants, she can give up on the retrofit, just throw these cards away, but she is not prepared to do that. So we're continuing on. I built a rocket plant. Jen is... Launching! All righty, and she's shooting a three. Yep, that one. And now, she just overkilled again. Let's stop for a second, because she shot with a three, only needed a two. So she's overkilled, which means we are going down <laughs> to the final. We are down to the final minute. And now, oh, well, this is unfortunate. This, rock, this meteor has a special power as well. Whenever it gets destroyed, a, a, another small meteor, a one, two, or three, immediately gets destroyed as well. But unfortunately, the only meteor left is this gigantic meteor. So the special power of this didn't happen. And because Jen did overkill, she's pushed us into the last round. We're drawing three more cards. One, two, three. And we have one minute to work together to blow this thing up. Right, and to do that, and we can overkill this. We don't care. Um, I still cannot do it, honey pie. Oh, wait, what was that? Yeah, I, was, I, I, don't, I never drew a one or a five, so we can't do it. I am going to start working on a rocket, though. See, guys, I got some rockets here. Uh, I'm hoping Jen has some green. Oh, I shouldn't be talking. All right, so I'm not gonna launch this. I'm just gonna let that sit there. And I'm gonna start this. All right, okay, and then I'm gonna say launch because this is ready. Oh wait, no, and Jen has started a rocket. I saw, I'm gonna finish it, and we both say launch. launch. And we both point where we want to launch. Uh, four plus three destroys the thing, and we save the day. My rocket plant didn't even come into play, although this resource plant really helped a lot. Yeah. It definitely made up for the fact. Now, to a certain extent, that was still kind of cheating anyway, because by describing what was happening to you <laughs> folks, I was kind of giving Jen clues. But they were the kind of clues that Jen would pick up on her own if she was paying attention to what I was doing, which is really the crux of this game. You have to watch closely when you're sitting in silence and you're just thinking about your own stuff, and time is counting down. You really have to pay attention to what everybody else is doing. So anyway, that was one click. And you can see how if we weren't constantly pausing to explain everything, that would have totally been a, five, a less than five minute game. And so I think that was one click playthrough. Now what we just showed was the basic game, but you may have noticed these cards up here. These are additional add-ons. These are boss meteors. That at the beginning of setup, we can add one boss meteor. We get rid of one of the base ones and we add one boss meteor that have all kinds of nasty things that can really mess us up. To make up for that, we have special powers. Everybody gets one special power, like a secret agent, or a mining initiative, or an orbital telescope, or being resourceful, or rocket boosters, or universal aid. So everybody can get one of these that can help make up for the fact that there's a boss. But if you want to make the game even harder, 
Because after you play this game, you can start getting pretty good. Even without being able to communicate, you can have unspoken communication. You can solve these puzzles pretty quick. We can give ourselves a handicap, like weak military, electrical shortage, communication blackout, doomed, um, <laughs> mistrusting, resource shortage, all kinds of stuff. So the game has a lot of flexibility. When you first start playing this game, it is tough without being able to talk. Just you know, getting into the realm of of paying attention to what everybody's doing, taking risks, taking chances. and um, But once you get good at it, you start adding all this other stuff. So speaking of, I'm not saying Jen and I are good at this game yet, but here's what we're going to do. If you want to hit the little I up in the top right corner of the screen, we can go to the extended playthrough where we will play a game with all of these things turned on. <laughs> we will likely lose. But you guys will get to see a broader range of what's available in media. Or alternatively, you can hit the other, uh, the, you'll go hit the I to go to final thoughts. Your choice in five, four, three, two, one.